Hi everybody, my name is Joseph Brunicardi and I'm sitting here with John Concannon at Concannon Vineyards. Nice to see you, John. Nice to see you, Joseph. Thanks for having me. Very excited to have you on. Today we'll be talking about uh, the conservancy, the name conservancy. What's it, what does it mean? Well, conservancy means preserving a way of life. It's about preserving our family, our heritage, our old school winemaking techniques, but most importantly, our land. We read a very disturbing uh, figure uh, earlier this year, and we really saw this trend coming on about 15 years ago, but three million acres a year of prime farmland are lost to urbanization in the United States. We took all of our land and we put it in a land trust, mm -hmm. the Tri-Valley Conservancy Program, so it will never, ever be built on. It will always Which remain... Now now is, it's not 47 acres anymore, it's more than that now, right? Right, well we have 200 acres 200. here on the estate. Okay, so all yes. 200 now are conservancy? All 200 acres are in the conservancy program. So all of the juice for these wines that we're going to taste comes from vineyard and that land trust. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the first one we're going to try is going to be the uh, the, the Chardonnay. You know, Chardonnay is, is the number one selling varietal out there. It represents about 25% of California, all sales. California, it's very, very Very big. popular. Yeah. So yeah. what we really tried to do here was make it very food friendly. What type of foods would you, would you do with, with this Chardonnay? You know what I do with this Chardonnay is, is I use it for any kind of pasta with maybe a cream sauce. Uh, it, it's very, very nice. I see here you guys finished a uh, big 10-year program. What was that all about? What was involved in that? Right. Well, it was a it was a ten year, thirty million dollar revitalization project. You know, after 127 years, you need to do a little uh, house cleaning. Yeah. So, we needed to build a winery that would take us into the next century, the next 127 years. So, we built a 45,000 square foot, state of the art, solar powered winery, and it sits just a hundred yards here from one of the oldest wineries in the United States, and uh, they play very nicely together. Uh, so, uh, next, our list to taste is. Uh the uh, Conservancy Merlot. Mm -hmm. Now, I've had a Merlot from Kincannon before, and it was a reserve. So, how many wines does Kincannon make? Right. Well, we have, we have two tiers that are available nationally. We have our Central Coast tier, which is our select vineyards, mm -hmm. and um, those retail typically for under $10. Mm -hmm. Those are kind of a uh, people's everyday wines, go-to mm -hmm. wines. And then the second tier up is this conservancy line. And this was really our attempt to take a reserve program on a national basis. Okay. Best way to kind of identify this tier is with the embossment of our family gate on the bottle, yeah, or the, yeah. as they call it in fr France, it's a cartouche. It's very Chateau de Pop, and it really reflects our yeah. own style winemaking. Yeah. And these very typically classy, retail- classy bottles. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Uh, and these typically retail for under $15. Oh, okay. What would you eat with this? Well, for me, I mean, this is my go-to wine for pizza and hamburgers. <laughs> okay, so moving on to our next wine is uh, the Conservancy Cab. I, I enjoy pairing this with uh, just your favorite cut of beef, or, you know, you can even pair it with a nice cheese plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah very, absolutely. It's a very versatile wine. Yeah, very. All right, and now moving on to our last wine, which I got to say I'm the most excited for, because uh, it says here on my glass, Concannon's America's First Petite Syrah. So I'm eager to try this Petite Syrah. Well, you know, Joseph, I mean, the minute you pour this into the glass, the party starts. I mean, mm -hmm. that color, I think in my tasting notes, I, I've got squid ink. I mean, to me, that's what describes it. There's no natural light yeah. coming through that. You could literally fill your, your fountain pen up with this. Um, mm. Yes, Petite Syrah is what we're known for. My father was the first to make Petite Syrah in 1961, a varietal. Before 61, you had Chablis and Burgundy, red and white. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was a blending grape, primarily in Burgundies. And uh, he was the first to varietally make it. What would you pair this one with? This is a big, this is a big wine. Sure. Yeah, I like, I like to say there's nothing petite about Petite Syrah. It's, yeah, uh, for sure. I call it, it's the St. Bernard that wants to sit in your lap. It's a big <laughs> wine, but, but it's very friendly. Yeah. Um, you know, this uh, steak, barbecue, Asian food, anything spicy, mm -hmm. um, it'll keep up with it. You know, so if you've yeah. got some heat in your meal, uh, this is the wine for you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Joseph. It was a pleasure to be and, here. And uh, where can, uh, where can our, our viewers pick these wines up? Well, all of these wines are available nationally at uh, your favorite uh, grocery store or liquor store. And uh, if they don't have them, please ask for them. Ask your wine steward, and they can get them. They're, they're distributed in all 50 states. So okay. uh, they're widely available and, again, priced under $15. Great. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful room, beautiful property, and uh, everyone should come out uh, to the Concannon Tasting Room.
I'm sure that uh, your father will be here to shake everyone's he hand individually. Absolutely. He's got all the good stories. So come on out. Thanks. Take care.